Let me explain the situation first. We are looking at a WIMRC file where I have set one out of several color schemes for a WIM. The spell checker is still switched off. Here in this comment block I have listed the four categories of errors or warnings that the spell checker can highlight. There is the spell bad category which marks spelling errors usually in red. Then we have spell cap which marks the first word of a new sentence if the word is not capitalized. Then there is spell local. Here we have the American and British spellings of the word color. So if we start the spell checker with US English then the British spelling will be marked. Then we have spell rare which seems to be so rare that I haven't even found an example. Now I switch on the spell checker and we can see the problem. Spellbed is nicely readable, spell cap a bit less because the color combination has low contrast and spell local is completely unreadable. Now depending on your terminal's color settings and your Vim color settings you may encounter different combinations of readability problems. Now let's fix it. Here I show you a first variant where we set the foreground and background colors explicitly for the four different categories. And it looks like this. Now the colors are nicely readable and for a lot of people that might be all that is needed. However, if you prefer the spell checker to underline the words like in a graphical word processor, then here is variant 2. It looks like this. For this variant we have to first clear the color attributes so that the background color is the same as the terminal's background and then we set the underline attribute and the foreground color of the text. So these are the two variants that I wanted to show you, but there is yet another issue that I found. I am using the Goyo plugin, which is a plugin for distraction-free writing. When we activate Goyo, things are still fine, but when we toggle it off, it resets the colors back to the defaults. First, let's try to fix this manually by using the Vim command line. So we can use the Goyo toggle command and add another command separated by a vertical bar or pipe symbol. We tell Vim to reload the Vimrc file again with the source command and that should set our custom colors again. With this long command we can activate and deactivate Goyo and our spell checker colors will work. Now this long command is a bit unwieldy if we have to enter it manually. So let's assign it to a hotkey. This is how it looks. I am assigning it here to the F5 key and for the key bindings we have to spell out some of the special characters like the vertical bar and the carriage return with this bracket notation. Now we can use the hotkey to toggle Goyo on and off and our spell checker colors will be okay. That's all for today, I hope it helped, bye.